Greetings from Manitoulin Island and welcome to Parkinson's disease, Recovery as Possible. I'm Fred Phillips and I'm a person experiencing the symptoms of Parkinson's. And contrary to conventional thought, I believe that recovery is possible. And this video series is about my journey towards recovery, the, uh, the, all the things that I've learned along the way, and the protocol and daily regimen I've developed to assist me in my recovery endeavor. Today I'd like to talk to you about what for me is the most challenging uh, symptom that I experience and that has to do with freezing. Freezing is simply when you can't move your feet, whether you're standing still or sometimes in mid-stride. There's nothing quite so exhilarating as losing your balance and not being able to move your feet, especially when you're going backwards. So for me it's an important uh, issue to, 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 to deal with and to resolve. And there are five things that I do to minimize my risk of freezing. The first one is to stagger my feet. So what that means is simply rather than standing with your feet side by side, you stagger them. In martial arts, we would refer to that as the fighting stance or the self-defense stance. And in fact, when I stagger my feet, I don't experience any freezing at all. It completely eliminates freezing. The challenge for me is to remember to stagger my feet because quite often when I'm walking or when I'm standing still, my mind is on something else. And quite often I'll find myself with my feet side by side, and that's when I experience freezing. So if I keep my mind focused and remember to stagger my feet, I don't experience a freezing. When I am in a situation where my feet are frozen, the simplest thing that I do to get myself out of that spot is to kick my foot forward as if I'm kicking a soccer ball. So that's the second thing I do. First thing is stagger my feet. Second thing is kick my feet like a soccer ball. The third, and, and that works quite effectively. The third thing that I do, and this has more to do when, when I'm standing in front of something, like I'm standing in front of a counter, the kitchen counter, the bathroom counter, or standing beside my bed or something, something similar. If I'm in a situation where my feet are frozen, I simply bend my knees really fast and turn at the same time. And that almost always gets me moving again. The fourth thing that I do is when I'm walking, I make sure I walk heel to toe. So I put my heel down first and then uh, my toes come down afterwards. And what that does is it, it helps me to extend my stride when I'm walking. And again, it helps eliminate freezing. And the last thing I do again applies to when I'm walking, I walk with my head up. Because when I walk with my head up, I'm less apt to uh, shorten my stride and, and uh, shuffle walk, and which again leads to freezing. There's two other things that are important to note as it relates to minimizing the risk of freezing. The first one has to do with stress. I definitely experience more freezing when I'm stressed. So when my mind's at ease, when I'm in a happy state, I experience far less freezing. And the second thing is to uh, minimize multitasking. I'm more apt to experience freezing when I'm multitasking. For instance, if I'm, when I'm bringing firewood into the house, if I bring firewood in in one hand, I'm typically fine. I don't experience much freezing. But when I'm, both my hands are full of firewood, I'm more apt to experience freezing. So those are the five things that I do to uh, overcome freezing. Again, uh, minimizing stress and minimizing multitasking is also important. So I hope that you've found that helpful. And if you like what you've heard today, please hit the subscribe button below or the notification button for notification for my next video. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for joining me on this journey. If you have any questions or if you would like to share your own stories, please see my email below this video and also my uh, um, blog site where you'll find over 500 blogs on my various aspects of my journey with Parkinson's. Thank you for joining me today and have yourself an awesome day. May you be healthy and may you be content. Thank you.